G'day and welcome to the second episode of the Body, Mind, Spirit, Personal Change and Corporate Change, Strategy, Structure and Culture. I hope you enjoyed the introduction. Today we're talking about the body. Enjoy. So let's resume and go to step two on all this. The, the mindset, zero one, is step one, mindset. What's that mean? Well, here's your memory. That's the past. Here's the present. Nothing much you can do about that. It's here right now, or it's just gone. Here's another one. It's just gone. There's nothing much you can do about that. So you can do a lot about your memory. And the future hasn't come yet. If we use the memory of the past to generate our actions, thoughts, responses to life in the future, there's a question. This is the question. This is where we're going. One, is the memory correct? Or is the memory, we, th- we think it's correct, but it's not correct. So in other words, we think the memory is correct, but it's not correct, so it's not going to take us where we go. Or the memory is correct. But either way, if, if you're heading down the road and you're going this way, and here's the now, and here's your memory, if you apply the memory to the future you're going to get what you've always had. If you always do what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've always got. So if you apply memory to the future, the future is going to look the same as the past, and that equals does not equal change. So this is the symbol for change in mathematics. So, <clears throat> for example, if you have a memory of a, a, a story, that you tell about the past, you know, he did this and she did that, uh, or this was good and this was bad, or uh, this was pleasurable, this was pain, this was wrong, and this is right. If you take your four storytelling paradigms this is this is all these are the only four you can have uh, self and other good and bad pleasure and pain right and wrong if you take those four from the past and apply them to the future that's that's the very definition equals no change so there's a lot of people who change their religion, they'll change their underpants, they'll change their jobs, they'll change their way of thinking, they'll change everything they change. But unless these four, all these four change about your stories, the future is going to look the same as the past. Now, the future, the past, here's the past. Uh, I, you know... Um, uh, I got married. That was really good. Oh, I got a divorce. That was really bad. I got a new job. That was really good. Oh, I, uh, I didn't like uh, my uh, um, body. And so I changed it and had uh, uh, implants put in. And, oh, I really love that new income. Oh, my goodness me. One of my uh, uh, friends wasn't well. Oh, my goodness me. If this was the map of the past and you feel like you're a victim... What you'll do is you'll keep your story, that's the present. You'll keep your present story the same as the past story, which was I was a victim and I had no control over the ups and the downs of my life. He did this, she did that, go back to the four. He did this, she did that. It was good or bad. It was pleasure or pain. It was right and wrong. And then we start thinking, oh, I'd love to do something in the future, but the four um, anchor points, the four pillars of your storytelling of the past stay the same. So guess what? You think you're a victim 
that life is random, that it's a chaotic experience. But I, I would like to say, suggest something different. If you realise that you are not the victim, but the cause of your past, then if you are not the victim, you can be the cause of your future. And if you don't want the, co- the future to be the same as the past, you have to change your stories about the past because changing your stories about the past means you empower yourself to create a future that doesn't have the same uh, sabotages, doesn't have the same relationships, doesn't have the same incidents from the past. So the big shift here, the huge shift is the past is gone, can't change it. The present is here, is what it is. The future hasn't come yet. If you think what if you think you know what you want for the future that's really cool but if you apply the uh, techniques and the mindsets and everything you've got from the past into the future you're just going to create uh you're going to move the deck chairs around it's going to be the same story with different players so to really make personal change the storytelling aspect of this whole thing has to be uh completely different and that's why i include um uh the, the, this first step in the back on track process here called mindset. I believe mindset is in your body. So if your, your body holds memory, if you, if you get a massage in a certain part of your body, it will hold a memory. And, and therefore, mindset equals body memory. It's the habits. It's the habits. It's the... Uh, uh, it's the four. These four, he, she, good, bad, pleasure, pain, right, wrong, it's all built into your DNA. It's built into the chemistry of your body. So to make a, a, a change in your life, the first thing is to, to retell the stories and your body is going to respond to that. So people with a hunchback are telling stories about sadness and, and depression from the past. The, the body is stuck in depression because it's hunched. So one of the reasons we go to a a yoga practice or a Pilates is to free up the body from the memories of the past. And that means we get a chance to change our mindset. And the way we do that is called we evolve. Evolve, you bastard, it's called. And the way we evolve is by doing an emotional shower, which uh, if you listen to this video, I'm pretty sure you know. And if you don't, there's plenty of videos online on my YouTube channel to explain it. And the other one is the discard. They're the only two ways I've found in 40 years of meditation, yoga, um, tai chi, qigong, workshops, seminars, psychology, behavioral science, MBA, corporate change, individual change, spirituality, not spirituality. The only way that I've found that's a genuine guarantee to evolve your mindset are the emotional shower and the discard process. John D. Martini does a discard process. He calls it the D. Martini process. And his is more complex. And, it's, uh, and I really respect um, that if you, if you want the high-end sophistication of that, you might try it. But my process, the discard form and the emotional shower will give you everything you need, everything you need at a, in about a tenth the effort. So that's step one in changing the body. Step two, most people look at their body and they go, oh, here's me. I want to change my body. Well, I want to get, uh, you know, I want to get um, a smaller uh, waistline. I, I, I want to get bigger uh, pectoral muscles. I want longer arms. I want, I want a younger face. I want bigger feet. And so we physicalize the body. But the body isn't physical. The body is cellular. So the cells of the body are big, 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 big things. If you look at them in a microscope with tiny, three little tiny dots in them, atoms, molecules, and subatomic particles in them, and the gaps between them are as far as the stars are apart in the sky. So this is all full of air in this cell. So the cell membrane on the outside and what goes on inside the cell is a memory. And if, if we want to release ourselves to create a new future... We have to change the cell, the human cell. It's not the shape of the body. So you can build a different body with the same chemicals and and the same mindset. It's really just a different shape. 
But what we're doing is changing the cellular structure of your body. And we do it through diet, exercise, relaxation. We do it through sleep pattern. We do it through, um, in many ways, self-care. We do it through stressing ourselves. So we evolve the body's DNA. We do it through um, appreciation. So we do it through a whole lot of mindset changes to give the body cellular structure a new opportunity to prepare you to evolve into the future. So they're the two levels at which we, we work on for your body. Let's now work on work, move on to the mind. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed that so far. Uh, episode three is on its way. Please check the YouTube channel and make sure you share this video if you can, please, and give it a big fat like. Thumbs up. Bye for now.